Thank you, Mr. Uh, Kelly, four minutes. Uh, what do you consider an acceptable time frame for a privacy request uh, related to a sexual misconduct case? Well, it's all, it's all context-based. The legislation talks about a 30-day uh, period for response, and then there is a possibility of extension for, for another 30 days. Uh, and so we, we would look at those cases uh, on a case-by-case -case basis. On, on April 17th, uh, we had a witness that told this committee that complaining to the Information Commissioner and the Privacy Commissioner is not an, um, an exception to obtaining information. It's actually it's part of the process. You will not get your information unless you make a complaint. So it was, it was uh, put to the committee that delay is commonplace and that, uh, that the department will delay uh, and force the, the, uh, the applicant to complain. Uh, any comment on, on that? Well, as, as I've indicated, a, a number, I think the, the, the bulk of our complaints that we receive uh, deal with uh, delays to the process in terms of access. Okay. So is, is, this a, 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 is this a failure of leadership to, to ensure that information is, that, that openness um, and, and proper disclosure is, um, is actually done? Well, w what we see is that uh, there are many cases where the delays are, are greater. We work with the, with the departments. Uh, we deal with the complaints. We, we found that departments were collaborative in, in the complaints process as they, as they work with us. Uh, but that is uh, an important part of uh, the num number of complaints and volume of complaints uh, that we receive. We try to resolve them uh, er as early as possible uh, through uh, resolution and uh, expedited uh, complaint mechanisms. All right. Well, do you, do you agree? The, uh, the Information Commissioner, uh, in her report, mentioned that senior leadership is key to influencing the corporate culture change to, to actual compliance and timeliness under, uh, under her act. Um, so we're now two minister, defense ministers into uh, uh, later, this was a 2020 report, um, and we hear the same complaints of slow service, intentional avoidance, a culture of secrecy uh, that appear to apply to requests under the, uh, the Privacy Act as well as the Information Act. Uh, do you agree? that uh, ministers must see it as their, you know, and this is her, in her words, see it as their responsibility to champion a new approach and to adopt these tools and practices in order to affect the necessary changes within the department. I, I, I agree that uh, leadership is important and I agree that uh, access to information, privacy uh, are uh, fundamentally important legislation and so they should be prioritized. Okay. Um, we've... Um, we also heard from, from the same witness, Patrick White, on April 17th, that a significant barrier and challenge is that you're required to name the individual record holder in trying to get access to your information. So he equated this with the equivalent of trying to get a, a tax assessment from your own, from the CRA, and being required to have the, the employee ID number of the actual employee that, uh, that may have handled it. Um, do, you, do you have a concern around privacy and the the level of information that, that the applicant for information needs to get information about themselves? Well, I think that the, I think that the department should uh, make efforts to make the system as user-friendly as possible. And one, one of the themes I've been pushing in terms of privacy in all aspects is really uh, making sure that we are not uh, delegating to individuals is, and to citizens. Is the system now user-friendly? Well, I think, I think we're seeing in the system um, lengthy periods of time. And so that's something that... Uh, periods of time for delay. That, that thank for thank delay. you, Mr.